Uh, yeah, I'm Philip Brown, I'm Engineering Director for Graham, one of the companies responsible for building these bridges back in the early 90s. In fact, I was a site engineer back then and this was one of the first projects that I worked on as a young civil engineer. The bridges were built in the early 90s, uh, just at a period whenever Northern Ireland was coming out of a very difficult period in its history. And uh, these bridges created a, a major uh, economic lifeline for the country, um, linking up the, the M2 uh, motorway in the north with the, the A2 running along the south, southern side of Belfast Lock and also linking up the two previously separate railway systems on either side of the river. The deck is actually made up of a series of small sections um, which were constructed in a, a separate uh, location and then brought to site and lifted into position. The, the bridge was constructed using what's called a glued segmental technique which was the first time it had ever been used in Ireland and basically uh, involved lifting a, a section into position over the top of a pier, then one on uh, either side uh, to keep it all in, in balance and uh, with each one being glued and stressed back to the previous one. Each section weighed between 60 and uh, 100 tonnes and was lifted into position with a, uh, over the river with a, a crane located on a floating barge. But with this being a, a, an old estuary, um, the ground conditions were very poor and so the whole bridge uh, needed to be constructed on piled foundations and these really transferred the loads from ground level down to uh, more solid formation below. The bridges provide a vital economic link across the river, not just for the city of Belfast, but for the entire country. The road bridges carry around 90,000 vehicles per day and uh, obviously link up the railway system as well. And it's just hard to imagine what the city would be like without this vital piece of infrastructure. Well, it was uh, civil engineers who really come up with the concept for the bridge. It was civil engineers who designed it, and it was civil engineers like myself who constructed it. And uh, so I think it's safe to say that without civil engineers, uh, this vital piece of infrastructure wouldn't be here. I worked in this particular um, job uh, almost 25 years ago as a young site engineer. And now, even now, whenever I drive underneath it with my kids, uh, I look at it and say, look, I built that bridge. And I think that's something as a civil engineer you can be very proud of, that you can actually see some of the projects that you've translated from uh, the drawing board into reality. Yeah, I also get a huge amount of satisfaction from knowing that the work that I do day by day has such a huge impact on people's lives and on society. And uh, whether it be in providing bridges like this or clean water or other vital pieces of infrastructure, I'm certainly proud to be a civil engineer.